Hello everyone, today it's October of 2012 and we're building a beastly computer for about $650. This thing's going to be pretty epic, so let's get right into it. First item on our list, the CPU will be an AMD Phenom 2 X4 Black Edition. This thing's pretty beastly, it runs a stock clock of 3.2 GHz and overclocks like a beast as well. Quad core and all for about 87 bucks, which is a ton of processor for the price, and that's probably why you're here. So, yeah, for the PC cooler, sorry, for the CPU cooler, we are going for the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo for about $30. This thing's gonna allow us to properly overclock our processor for not a lot of cash, and who doesn't love that? Steve, that's who. He's just some boring guy who thinks that his computer is just for Facebook and porn. And he's partially right. Anywho, for the motherboard, we're going to splurge a little bit and get ourselves into an ASRock Extreme 3. This thing has four RAM slots, two PCI slots, high quality Japanese capacitors, because those Japanese build excellent capacitors, apparently. It's just fantastic board and it's an ASRock and they make good shit and yeah I highly recommend ASRock to anyone. This thing can take up to 32 gigs of RAM and any speed of RAM that we can throw at it so we don't really have to worry about the RAM speed. So we kinda do. Anyways, speaking of RAM, we are taking 4 gigabytes of Patriot Gamer 2 series RAM this thing may only ha run at 1333 megahertz, but I did a little research on the Phenom. Keyword on the little, I spent about five minutes to figure it out. And apparently it can only handle 1333 megahertz, so I'm trying to keep the CAS and voltage down so we can keep the speed up. The CAS on this is 9, which is pretty decent, and the voltage is 1.5 volts which will make sure that this system is quite cool and we won't have to have a billion fans. So, yeah, with decent stats, we're going to grab two sticks at $24 each. So that's, what, 48 bucks for two sticks. And we'll have 8 gigs of RAM. And if you feel 8 gigs is slow for some reason, you might be weird, I don't know. You might grab another two sticks and ramp it up to 16 gigabytes, which is more than enough for pretty much anything you can do in this system. Moving on to the video card, we're taking an EVGA 550 Ti. It's only $99. <laughs> I was pretty, pretty astounded when I found that price. That's a great price for an EVGA 550 Ti. So why say no? I don't know, you might be Steve. Steve apparently doesn't like video cards. Moving on, for the case, we are going for, well, there's a couple options, but I personally would pick the Silverstone PS05B mid-tower case. Silverstone just makes great ca cases, and for only $50 or so, really, how can you go wrong with that? It's a decent-looking case. If you're not a fan of that case, for the exact same price, I mean, like, literally exact, you can go get yourself into a Rosewill Redbone U3 or a Rosewill Challenger U3. Any one of these will work for your budget. They'll probably all cool around the same uh, same amount. If that makes any sense. If it doesn't, uh, I'm sorry. And yeah, for the power supply in this case, we're going to be going for a Corsair Builder Series 430 watt. It's 80 plus certified and made by Corsair and they are pretty much the best company for power supplies. And anything you buy from them will work and if it doesn't work for some reason or you somehow manage to kill it, you just gotta call them up and go, hey my power supply doesn't work and they'll say okay and they'll send you a new one as long as it's within five years of you buying it. For storage, I was, I was really debating on getting an SSD but I decided instead to go for two Western Digital Black series. They have a 7200 spin speed and are both 1T. So if you run these in RAID 0, you'll have quite speedy load and write times, as well as 2T of hard drive space for $180. Maybe sound like a little expensive, but you won't have to clean your hard drive very often, which is always a good thing, because I hate cleaning my hard drive. How about you? 
for the optical drive, uh, I'd get a get a uh, light on pass for fourteen dollars. I, I I don't give a shit. Whatever. Anyway, the total for this system, if you weren't counting, is six hundred and twenty-six dollars and fifty-one cents. So it's well under our budget. This thing will play any game on medium to medium high, which is great. If you were, if I were you, after I bought this system, like a month or two later, I'd probably upgrade to a 7770 or a GTX. Uh, I don't know, 650 or 660, depending on the price. That'll make sure you can run everything on high, the ultra, I think. Yeah, I think so. Alright, so if you uh, like this video, make sure to subscribe and comment. If you're an Intel fanboy, please do not start a big uh, a big fiasco, a big flame war in the comments, because I might have to uh, shoot you. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.